So, Bricadia got updated a few days ago. We are now in Alpha 4.1, or as the devs call it, Alpha 4 Patch 1. And we got a few new things in this update. Most notably, we have some new sound features, a new building tool, some weapon tweaks, a new minigame brick, and also a more minigame options. And of course, we have new hats and faces. But first things first, you might have noticed that the logo for Bricadia has changed. Yep, the studs on the brick on the Bricadia logo are now square instead of round because if you didn't notice, the end game studs in Bricadia are not round, they are square. By the way, look at this. Yep, there is a zoom feature it's Z by default, and this is said to be a placeholder until there is a sniper scope. But I hope that doesn't mean that they remove the zoom because I would rather have this be kept in along with a sniper scope. That would be great. Speaking of weapons, there's a few weapon balance changes. Most notably, the SMG is a lot faster than it used to be. The fire rate has increased by a lot. Also, you can now deal knockback on direct hits, which is something I was hoping for. This is a brick. It is the new gold point brick to be exact. You click it and it can end around. Along with that, it makes a cool noise when you click it. And with a new minigame brick, there is also a few new minigame settings. One of them is a new allied teams option. You are now able to make two teams allied to each other. An example of that being useful would be that if you wanted to make a team deathmatch with, say, four teams and you didn't want them all to be able to fight each other you can make two of the teams allied and so if you enable no friendly fire they wouldn't be able to hurt each other also there is now an option for you to be able to stack on top of players in the minigame options before if you jumped on someone uh, you would just slide off but now if you select this option in the minigame settings you will now be able to jump on someone's head and make a tower this also might be useful for some cool minigames that people people might think of, such as maybe you have to stack a tower in order to get to a certain goal point. There's an option to give points for suicide in the minigame options now, and an option to give points based on damage dealt. There's a few more minigame related stuff, but if you want to look at everything, I would suggest you go to the Bricadia website and look at the changelog there. On to the new building tool. There is a new building tool. It is called the guide tool. And what the guide tool does is that it makes a circle. What it basically does is that it makes a circle outline for you to be able to build in. So gone are the days of having to Google Minecraft circle chart to be able to create nice looking circles. Also, the ghost brick has been changed. Now when a ghost brick is overlapping with another brick or otherwise you are not able to place it, it will now be much more obvious to see when a brick is unplaceable. Speaking of bricks, there is now a new tile wedge brick. It's basically a wedge brick without a stud texture on it. Also, not technically new bricks, but the pine tree brick and the bush brick have been updated to look a little nicer than they did before, or at least differentiate them from a certain other brick properties, pine tree and bush brick. Speaking of differentiating, the player model has been changed. There is now no more crotch. We now have a prominent thigh gap and also movement has been changed just a little bit. In the previous Alpha 4 version, if you crouched and jumped at the same time, you wouldn't be able to because there was no crouch jumping. That was not a thing in the first version of Alpha 4, but now it is a thing and you're now able to crouch jump and there is brand new animations for it. Also, when you walk now, there is now a new animation for walking. It's kind of neat. We've all gotten a little slower because movement speed has been reduced by 20%. And I've even tested it in the new version in the old version of Alpha 4. Check it out. And as you can see, the new version is considerably slower. Let's get into the new customization options. There are a few new hats that were added. There is a new football helmet, a pith hat, a Roman helmet, and a Roman helmet with a plume, a bandana hat, and a dotted bandana hat. 
On to the new faces. There is a samurai face, a cute little cat mouth face, and an actual cat face. The last new big thing added to Bricadia this patch is the new environmental sounds option. You can choose an ambient sound for your server and change the reverb on it. I'm just going to go through all of the new sounds and let you hear them all. Also, there's new sloshing sounds when you walk knee deep in water. And that's pretty much it for Alpha 4.1 or Alpha 4 Patch 1. And now I'm just going to be talking about a few ideas I've had and what you guys think about them. So I've been thinking of doing a Bricadia community event. And what I've decided what I want to do is a themed building contest with judges and a prize for the winners. Basically how it's organized is that I give a theme and a deadline and you guys will go out and based on the rules such as the minimum and maximum brick count you can use, you will create builds based on the theme I have chosen or you have chosen. And when the deadline has arrived, maybe a week after I give the announcement, I will stream or just make a video on all of the builds and show them off and me and probably maybe two other people will act as judges and we will rate your build on certain criteria such as how well it fits with the theme, how well it's built, the creativity of it. And once we go over every build, we will choose a winner and that winner will receive a prize. I don't know what sort of prize, but it will most likely be something monetary and maybe second and third place will get a prize as well, just less. And then after that, I don't know how often I would be doing this, but we would choose a new theme and do it again. Now, if you have any ideas on what the theme should be or how the event should be organized, just put it in the comments or message me on Twitter or Discord. I have my Discord in the description. And yeah, I want to know what you guys think of that idea. I want to do some more Bricadia stuff. And this sounds pretty fun, so... Thanks for watching guys and have a good day or night or evening or morning depending on when you're watching this. Uh, bye.